Hello, and welcome to an introduction of VE Desktop for HP Software 5.0. In this brief demonstration, we'll introduce what the product is, how it functions, and some high-level values that it provides. VE Desktop for HP Software was co-developed by Shunra and HP Software for HP Performance Center 9.5 and HP Load Runner 9.5. Each of these products are purchased separately. VE Desktop for HP Software helps you eliminate the need to deploy load generators remotely, as well as it aggregates your end-to-end -end results into a single database. It's important to understand that Shunra's VE Desktop for HP Software is the only product that can provide the functionality that is shown in this presentation. Shown here is a Load Runner 9.5 controller. All the functionality we'll demonstrate today also exists in Performance Center 9.5. For our test today, we want to understand the application performance at three different locations. The first being our local users close to the data center, then our Seattle users, as well as our Atlanta users. There's no limit to the number of groups or load generators that you can use in your test with WAN emulation. To configure the WAN emulation at our remote locations, we need to go to the load generators details, and then WAN emulation. In here, you can see that we've named the emulation for this load generator, 116, to be Atlanta. This is important for statistics later in the test. To configure the WAN emulation parameters to be used in the test, we click on the WAN emulation settings, and then we have three modes of operation to choose from. Basic mode offers predefined menus for different locations around the globe. Advanced mode allows you to input specific characteristics of the link. And the professional mode allows you to configure advanced configurations such as jitter, asymmetric bandwidth, and link congestion. For this test, we're using basic mode, using a source destination of Atlanta, the destination location of Chicago, normal business hours, and a T3 link. Once you've configured your WAN emulation, you can start your test. I now take you to our test already in progress. When we started this scenario, the controller automatically understood that WAN emulation was configured for the test, sent that information to the load generator. The load generator enabled the WAN emulation, started it, and then started the application traffic. This is all done with absolutely no script edits. This is an embedded solution, and it takes care of that for you. What also happened was because we're using WAN emulation, the network statistics, key features being latency, packet loss, and bandwidth utilization are automatically uploaded and stored in the Windows Resources graph. This way you can look and see what's happening on the network as well as understand your application performance, number of users, system resources, everything in real time while your test is running. A very, very important metric to keep your eye on while the test is running is your bandwidth utilization. If that grows too high, then you could clearly have some serious problems during your test. After our test completes, we take a look at the load runner analysis to understand the results of our test. Within the average transaction response time graph, we now have a problem. The problem is this is an average transaction response time over three different locations. So the average number here is meaningless. To address this issue, we've added a new option under group by called emulated location. Once you group by emulated location, you can see your average transaction response time by location. Another view of this in the bar graph clearly shows each transaction on a per location basis. So once your test is done, you can automatically get this information and understand how your application will perform at each location you tested for. Additionally, now that the Windows Resources contains your network information, again this is packet loss, latency, bandwidth utilization, and a myriad of other statistics, you can now merge that information with your average transaction response time to understand specifically if and how the network is impacting the performance of your application at your remote locations. In this graph shown here, we have our transaction response time for our local users. And you can see that's very low and very consistent throughout the test. Now to understand what the key influencer was, for the average transaction response time at our other locations being Atlanta and Seattle. We can take a look at those metrics. Shown here is our average transaction response time for Atlanta. And then we can see very similarly the latency 
at Atlanta and understand what's going on there. Now our average transaction response time at Seattle was much worse and much more erratic. We can see that here. We can also understand that the latency was much more erratic and much higher at Seattle, thus giving us a much tighter correlation between the latency and the average transaction response time. In summary, BE Desktop for HP Software enables load generators to simulate network locations. Shunner and HP Software co-developed the product releases for HP Performance Center 9.5 and HP Load Runner 9.5. These products are purchased separately. VE Desktop for HP Software empowers you to eliminate the need to deploy load generators remotely and aggregates your end-to-end -end results into a single database. Also, VE Desktop for HP Software is the only WAN emulation product that will provide the functionality shown in this presentation. For more information about VE Desktop for HP Software, please visit us at the website below or call us at 1-877-474-8672. Thank you.